And if you're new here, you might want to just go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to stick around. We are called Cookies. We like to kiki about fashion, lifestyle, all the things. And now I have a membership program too if you want to learn more about content creation as well as getting some of your personal fashion questions answered. It's down below. I'm going to link it. First live is tomorrow. Anyway, let's get into it. I want to talk about shoes. Oh. I'm sorry, hold on, because I know I know you're gonna ask me. I know you're gonna ask me. These are from Dylan Lex. Do you see these? Do you see these? They're lightweight also. They're not like hugging and dragging onto the bottom of my earlobes like a lot of earrings do. That's why I don't actually wear a lot of big earrings because I hate feeling weight on my ears at all. So yeah, definitely love these earrings. They have a nice big old juicy back to it and then it cuffs at the top here. I love them. It's part of their newer collections with the um, turquoise involved. I was like, let me get into that because y'all know I love turquoise if you watch my personal um, journey with jewelry. And I'm wearing a stack. My Tiffany's cuff, my mom's bracelets that I inherited from her. She's still with us, but I, okay, I stole them. I stole them. It's all right. Anyway, let's talk about shoes because y'all know I'm a shoe girl. I love shoes. Like, love them down. And I want to talk about 10 trends that are out there right now. And the ones that I'm going to partake in or already have partaken in. And then we can also talk about how to style them, how I kind of see them going. Anyway, let's get into the first thing. Pete Toes. Y'all remember, like, I feel like it was 2004. The peep toe with a platform was really it. Like Baker shoes had all of them, right? The peep toe is back, but she's a little bit more thoughtful about where it lands on your toe. It's either you got a little slither peep, like a Rick Owens peep toe booty or an Aliyah, the Aliyah spike heel, which is very cute. She already sold out in white on most platforms. And, um, or it's like full throttle, all the toes are out. Either way, it's a peep show. I'm really feeling it. I've always loved peep toes. I really love the Elias spike heels. And I also like it with that big old bangle gold thing on the front of the toe. Ooh, they expensive. Ooh, oh my God. But I love wearing them just with a biker short. I love wearing them with a longer pant. So, you know, instead of having a pointed toe shoe, you have a peep toe with a little bit more of an almond toe or, or a pointed toe. And it looks so cute underneath a, a long pant. But I feel like they're so chic. You know, it, it has a sex appeal. It's like, you know, a, a different form of toe cleavage. You know, if you have toe cleavage, it's like you show j this amount, but it's like the other front. It's, it's showing the toe nip. Okay, maybe it's a little too much. I don't know. I don't know. It's risque and I like it. And I think it's very classy and cheap. Definitely going to partake in that one. All right. The second one is platform me, please. Platforms are back at it again. You know, I kind of feel like the Valentino platforms aren't as popping as they was, but I feel like a lot of other brands are doing this more flat form, platform. I think they're really comfortable if you do them right. I'm really interested in trying on the Gucci loafer platforms that they debuted with um, their new creative director last season. So basically the spring summer collection is now out. I was really interested in seeing them in the Python embossed or debossed um, look, I want to see them in person. I want to try them on to see exactly how wibbly wobbly they are. That's the thing about platforms. You got to be careful about them when it comes to your ankles. But we are seeing a lot of them. Anywhere from Gucci, Simone Rocha, Molly Goddard, Valentino again, Ugg Boots again, if you're that type of gal. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a platform for everyone. You know who does really good platforms that I've always admired? Marnie. They've always done a platform. And they've always done it well. I just walked past their store the other day and I saw their sneakers in the window with the platform. And I'm like, I love those. They're classic. But if you're a platform girly, that just means there's going to be a hell of a lot of options to choose from this spring and summer. So I'm very excited. 
if they work for me, I will partake in the platform Gucci loafer moment. Lord knows I actually have a pair of Gucci platforms, um, but they don't have, like, it's not a full platform. It has like a heel, chunky heel and a chunky front. I don't wear them that much because if I don't wear them with socks, which a lot of loafers I actually don't like wearing with socks personally, um, they make my feet fart when I'm stepping in them. I felt like that's not really ladylike, so I don't wear them as much. I don't know what's going on there. I did put them on Poshmark, and then people were playing in my face when it came to negotiating price. I was like, girl, the price is the price. They only worn once. Please stop. So I'm going to take them off of, off of Poshmark. I'm going to try my best to wear them. I'm going to push myself to wear them. I'm going to make a video about certain pieces that I have a frustrating time styling in my closet because I bought them on impulse and didn't think through seven outfits with them, but... They're going to be on that. They're going to be on that. Okay, next up, I call these Jesus sandals because <laughs> they're very, um, some of them are very hike-ish. Um, very Prada did a pair of these Teva looking sandals back in the day. Not back in the day, like a couple years ago. And I remember Erica Badu wore them and she made them so cool. And I was like, only she could just make them pop. And I bought a pair of Teva sandals. And I was like, this is not... Is given how far is Nazareth. Like, it just wasn't working for me. I don't know if I would really partake in them. Also included in this particular category are like thong slipper sandals. Again, when it comes to living in New York, there are certain shoes that just don't, don't bang. You know, you walking around in flip-flops in New York, you asking for crusty dust ass feet. You want the dirt from the sewer on your feet, don't you? You want the subway air dirt on your feet when you get home. So when you get home, all the black soot is on the bottom of your foot. That's that's what you're asking for when you're wearing flippity flops in New York. The only time I actually wear flip flops is in the bathroom at the gym when I'm showering. Or if I'm going from the nail salon and I'm not getting gel and I'm getting straight into a car. Only time you'll probably catch me wearing flippity flops, thong sandals from like, what's that brand? Oh my God. I can't think of them, but they have nude sandals. They were really good. Listen, they're really good, but they are actually, to me, they're flimsy. I feel like the only thong style of shoe that I'm really going to get into are the thicker ones that have a nice bay around your foot that your foot is just, you know, it's comfortable. It's in a little bit of a tub of leather and not too much city dirt can get on them. I got a pair of um, sandals from Hermes with the thong slipper moment that I feel like that's as far as I can get and maybe like a satin flat. I don't know. I have to see. I have to see. But yeah, not so excited about that. But everyone's got a pair of Miu Miu, Hermes, Prada, Dior. And it's really just about the functionality, you know, when it comes to the crisscross hitchy, hitchhiker looking ones. And then, but the flip-flop situation in this category, you asking for dirty feet. So I'm not that excited about this particular category. I am kind of shamefully excited because this is not really practical for New York. I call them street cleaning shoes because they sweep with something. Basically like shoes with, with fringe or fur or some kind of um, addition that sweeps the ground as you're walking. These, these are not the most practical shoes. These are event space to car to home situations. These are not shoes that you are really gallivanting in New York with because it's just not practical. You will pick up all the dirt. You will bring home all the germs. It is disgusting, but they are so good. They are so good. I personally have a pair of Dries shoes that are furry and they touch the fur touches the ground. I know they do. I know they do. There's a pair of Phoebe Philo shoes that she dropped in her last Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back. The Jesus Air Force ones. Okay, those can go really well with like dresses and shorts and even biker shorts for spring, summer. And then with the platform, platform shoes, I feel like you, can, you can't go wrong with a lot of aesthetics. Like you can do a beautiful cropped like black tuxedo pant. You can do a mini skirt with those. Um, just be careful. You might want to add something around your ankle, maybe a, a sock with it. But I feel like they're really amazing to wear with 
obviously long pants that grace over them, but like you want to make sure that you get a pair that has a pe has, has a little pop of color so it actually can show a little bit underneath a long dress or a long pair of jeans. But yeah. All right, let's get back to the street sweeper clean. The street sweeper clean the shoes. Those I feel like you have to wear them with something that shows them off. An ankle bearing pant, a midi dress, a midi skirt, um, a skirt, things of that nature. But I just love, I love a good fringy moment on a shoe. Phoebe Fallow dropped her latest collection. Honestly, the 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 last drop is very dry, except for this one pair of fringy ass mules. I, love them not for the price i'm not doing it again with her you know it just i just don't i don't i don't i don't see it i don't know i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it enough to do that that amount of spend on those shoes because they look like they can clean a little baby car yes love them but i'm not paying that much for them but they're just a lot of drama a lot of texture that can clean the street and i'm Going to say, I'm partaking in it. I am. Um, Balenciaga with the bow pumps. Dries, Dries Van Noten always has a pair of shoes that has a lot of texture and drama. They have a pair of raffia um, textured shoes that I'm like, yeah, they could sweep the street real clean, all right? And even, you know, Loewe is gonna have something for this category, shaggy shoe moment. I mean, literally, I love them. They just get the people going. And they get a lot of germophobia. Germophobic's a little antsy, makes their booty itch. So I will be partaking in that one. Another category, roach in the corner stompers is what I like to call them. Extra pointed toe shoes. We're talking Balenciaga knife boots. We're talking if 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 you're not careful when you're walking up a, a flight of stairs, that tip going to get caught on that little piece of the edge of the step and you're going to timber up. I hate when I timber up a flight of stairs. It's really embarrassing. It's like, why am I not paying attention? But these, these are the things. These are the things. So obviously Balenciaga, acne, but like severe pointed toe. And everyone has their version of it. Even Prada has a nice pair of pointed toe shoes. They're not as severe, but they want to be. They want to be. Will I partake in this? Listen, I have a couple pairs already. And you know what? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Sometimes I don't wear them because I'm scared of them. It's dangerous, but they look good. They look really good under flared pants that sh sweep the street as well. You know, a little pop of color. It just it elongates the silhouette of you. Yeah. And depending on the type of shoe, whether it's a boot or a pump or some type of sandal with this point of toe, I mean, you want to show them off, right? All right, so let's go with a midi skirt. Let's go with a pair of capris because that's all the rage too this season. Listen, if if you if you like it, then I love it. You know black people say that when they don't really love something, but because I don't really love the roach in the corner stompers, but I appreciate them and I have a few pairs. And listen, they come in handy every so often. Not for roach killing. Because we don't I, I fight for my life to make sure we don't have roaches in this house because people in this building, I seen them. Not in this house, they won't. Oh no. But I do have a pair of shoes just in case they, they decide to crawl in because this is New York, honey. We we gonna see things from time to time. Anyway, moving right along. Another one of my favorites. I don't have to have somebody tell me that this is on trend for me to be into it. Mules. I love mules. For some reason, they make me feel more grown. Like, I don't need a back of a shoe to hold me down. I got me. It's just something very independent about a mule. But they're everywhere this season, so I'm going to have a lot of fun <laughs> spending all my money on them. <laughs> I'll eat ramen. Anyway, but you know, the same old, same old. Bottega Veneta always did the Lido mules, okay? Loewe, everyone has a mule. Again, the Aliyah. Oh, I cannot stop thinking about the Aliyah. Peep toe mules with that little gold bo Oh, that's a different sound. That's a different sound. What the hell is that? It sounded like zombies coming from out of the earth. Mm -mm, I don't like it. But it got, had that gold barrette. I just, I might take the plunge on them, but I feel like 
I feel like mules can go with so many things. And honestly, I do like wearing them with jeans. because Some people feel like they'll get the jean, the back of the jean will get caught up underneath your foot in a mule. I haven't had that experience. I haven't had that experience and therefore I wear them with longer pants. I obviously wear them with shorts and skirts and things that can show them off. But typically I wear them with a pant that is probably 30 inch inseam. So it'll, it'll excuse my Uggs, they're, they're platforms. But it'll probably stop right here. Stop right here. So you can just show off that mule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really into a mule. I don't know. Makes me feel like I'm Dorothy Dandridge or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is about a mule, but it just makes me feel like a grown ass woman, okay? So obviously I'm partaking in that particular trend, AKA a, a big availability of a certain style. Another trend that I kind of done, but I'm like, I don't know how I feel about it. Socks and the shoe. So like hosiery or socks with a shoe, to complete a buy, right? And and I'm I saw them like over the shoe, within the shoe, around the shoe. We're talking we're talking a lot of different ways that we are incorporating socks with the shoe. What did I write down here? Mm. I don't know what that word is. Wow, I write like I have no sense. Okay, okay, but Bottega has the. Dominica boot or Dominica boot. The, the row has a leather pump with the sock or hosiery, like a fishnet situation going on. They have a flat shoe with a mesh uh, sock happening. The uh, Tibby sock boot come in red, they come in gray. They're cute. I just don't know if I can commit. Even Louis Vuitton has this like booty that looks like a, a, a pump or a Mary Jane shoe with a sock. And they do come in a brown color, but they don't come in all the brown color shops, so they really skip the beat with that. But yeah, I'm like, you know, they're interesting. Not in love with them, but they do make it seem like, like if you have a a, um, a longer midi skirt on and you have a pair of the Tibby boot socks shoes on, I don't know what to call them, honestly. It looks cool if that's your vibe. Like, I'm not mad at them, but I'm just like, hmm. Like, I, I have a pair of the Phoebe Philo um, sandals with the cape on the back. I bought uh, tabby socks to wear with them in the, in the winter. I only really partook in that once because I really felt like, you know what? I really feel like these are summer shoes. I was just really thirsty to wear them in the winter. So I feel like it makes sense to pair certain shoes that you wouldn't necessarily think to wear with socks to pair them with socks in the winter. I think that makes sense to me. But outside of the cold months, I don't really see myself doing this particular trend, but I think they're fun and funky. So it's gonna speak to somebody. I respect it. The next one, slouchy boots. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't like it here. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't like it here. It's giving pirate boot. Remember when that, that was really popular and they had round toe? Vivian Westwood actually did this really well um, in the peak of this style in 2003, four. Um, obviously I'm not partaking in them. Everyone has a pair. Rick has a pair, Loewe has a pair, Dion Lee. Ma you know what? I kind of, I'm lying. I actually have a pair of slouchy looking boots, the Maison Margiela cowboy, like the Western tabby boot. But it's, to me, it makes sense, the slouch of this boot. The exaggerated versions of these shoes, it looks sloppy to me. I'm sorry. I, I don't like them. I don't like them. I know a lot of people will, and it's a vibe for a lot of people personally. I just feel like it looks undone. It looks like, you know, you, you didn't care. You didn't lace up your boot. Um, it looks too big for the calf. It looks soggy. And I don't like soggy things. I hate soggy bread. So therefore, I'm going to not like, I'm not going to like soggy looking shoes. This next trend, I am trying more and more. And it involves 
flat shoes. Now we're talking about, yes, the ballet shoes, the Mary Jane shoes, but overall just flat, flat shoes. Even like Boston clogs from Birkenstock kind of live within this space. Mary Jane's, ballets, all the things. And you know what's funny? I'm not a ballet shoe girl, but I like a mixture. I'm starting to like a mixture of a ballet flat meets a Mary Jane. So like more of a pointed or a thinner toe with a strap. I like that. I don't like the lace up though. Don't lace up on me because I'm not going to be out here talking about a one, a two, a pirouette or whatever the names are in ballet. Don't come for me. I don't, I, I remember I took ballet classes because my mom put me in them and, and our agreement was, I'm going to take this class, lady, but you better give me some candy when we finish. Because truth be told, I want to play basketball. I like soccer until soccer balls started hitting me in the face too many times. And I was like, okay, I don't like soccer anymore, but I'm going to stick with baseball and basketball. So I don't remember anything from ballet. I think I took like three classes and that was it. I gave my mother hell. I hated it, okay? I don't like ballet shoes. But I like the mixture of them when it comes to a Mary Jane. And so I will be partaking in this. I'm trying some new things. I recently purchased two pairs of flats from Zara that are very, you know, the Alaya Mary Janes with the with the with the grommets with the mesh and all that, right? I, or even the row. The row has these mesh flats that look like a I don't know, it looks like a paddle with a mesh covering. You know, it's very simple. It's not for everyone. I honestly, I like them. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I do like them, but I don't like the price, so I didn't do that. So I went ahead and I saw a pair on Zara. And I said, let me get those because I wanna see what they look like on my feet anyway. But I don't think that I would actually really take the plunge in buying them full price with Row, even if I love these. And I actually, I really love them. I pop up a couple pictures of what I purchased. I think they're stunning. Um, but I feel like the mesh of them in the Zara shoe, they might rip after a month of wearing them. Cause I will, I wear the shit out of my sandals. Okay. Did I cover everything? Was that 10? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I skipped one. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. One that I did skip, I'm sorry, my bad. Kitten heels, like kitten nipple heels, like the small, like smaller than what we know. The kitten, do, 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 do. everywhere, everywhere, all over the place. We're gonna see a lot more. We saw them last year, okay? We saw them through the winter. They're getting way more smaller, okay? I love me a good kitten heel, but I need a little bit more in the in the nip. This one is very short. Um, Prada, Dior, Jimmy Choo, they got really small short ones. We're gonna see them in mule format. We're gonna see them in a full shoe, pointed toe, mostly pointed toe, but Prada has like an, an angled square toe moment. So we can get into that. We can get into that. I probably won't meet you there. I will see you there and I will appreciate y'all wearing them because anything smaller than the kitten heels that I have, which we're gonna see a lot more of, I'm afraid for my ankles in these New York City streets. I'm afraid that my shoe is gonna get caught up in the cobblestone pattern street. Um, and I'm gonna have to call for help. This is a bonus feature. So these are different things that are going to be trending as far as materials or just textures on shoe. I've mentioned it already, mesh. Mesh is everywhere, whether it's a large looped mesh or a very thin, tight, whole mesh. I love them, but I do not think that they're that practical for New York, um, especially the like the, the Alaya mesh shoes, those are too big. Brittany, Brittany from Pockets and Bows called them uh, screen doors. You want a pair of screen doors on your on your, on your feet? I loved it. I loved her commentary on that episode. That was We had a good time. If you haven't seen it, Janae Naylor does Style Unlocked episodes where she talks to different people about how they develop their personal style. There's games on the show and everything. And for Fashion Week that just passed, she had myself, 
Parkinson Bowles, aka Brittany, and the Yusuf sisters on the episode as well as Chi. It was a bonus feature at the end. And we got to talk about all the things that were happening on red carpets and different trends and things like that happening right now. And one of the trends or uh, um, what's it called? Style of shoes that we talked about was the Aliyah mesh flats with that big gold barrette on it and I was like hell no me and Brittany were not into them I was like I wouldn't be opposed to trying them on to see what they look like on my feet but I would definitely not spend that much to wear something like that in New York it just doesn't make sense but if it's like $50 I'm I'm gonna try it I want to see what it looks like but anywho that is going to be a big feature. Animal print, snake print, leopard print. Not all leopard print is made the same. There are certain leopard prints that look so terrible and cheap. You got to be really picky about your leopard prints. Okay, I'm just putting it out there now. But we're going to see a lot of animal prints on everything, not just shoes. And another thing that we're seeing like people really dive into, even myself, because I have fashion trauma from an old movie called Serial Mom. You probably heard me talk about this before. The mom in the movie, like once she, you know, I'm not going to tell certain things if you haven't seen it. I think it's a really, it's a fabulous movie. John Waters was an, a neighbor of ours when I was an infant and still friends with my dad to this day. That's the director of that movie as well as Hairspray. He's a director of Hairspray. But the serial mom saw someone wearing white shoes after Labor Day and she killed that girl. She was like, you cannot wear shoes at white shoes or white period after Labor Day. Didn't your mother teach you any better? So I was like, bitch, I ain't wearing nothing white after Labor Day. So I have slowly grown out of that fear in the last couple of years. I wear white all year round, but white shoes, for some reason, I always had an issue with that. Stark white shoes are going to be all over the place this summer and spring. It's going to be very available for us to partake in and I think it's an easier shoe to pair a lot of outfits with. And I'm realizing this as I'm getting out of my serial mom fashion trauma. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's a thing. You can judge me if you want to. Yeah, serial mom scared the bejesus out of me from wearing white shoes, okay? And I always had issues styling them for myself. But now, mm -mm, I like them. I'm, I'm, get, I'm digging all the way into them for sure. So, but that is it. That are That's the 10 trends of shoes that we're going to see a lot of um i'm excited for five of them i guess roughly right and the other five i'll just enjoy watching other people rock you know you you got to go with what you like the most and when it comes to trends i say this all the time it just means we're just going to see a lot of them and if that is your thing if you see your flair within these trends then gobble, gobble, eat them all up right now so you can have your favorites to wear forevermore to always have your personal style, okay? Because you're going to always catch me out here in these streets with a mule, okay? <laughs> you always going to see me with a little peep toe, okay? And you're going to see me here, here, there with, 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 a, with, a, um, with a flat shoe now. Yeah, yeah. I like how they look on my feet because I'm a pedestrian. Of New York City. So I have to think about these things. So listen, I hope y'all like this episode. Tell me what are your thoughts? Give me the feedback. What are your favorite trends from this list? What are your favorite? Well, what are your favorite shoes from this list that you've always worn and you're just excited to see them readily available in different colors and textures and patterns? Like, what are you excited about? Tell me below which ones didn't you like the most? And then we'll kiki on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget I am offering a membership program now. I'm going to be talking about content creation in that world. I'm going to be answering personal style questions that you guys are having issues with at home. And we're going to just develop our relationship a little bit differently within that side of the cookie jar. So I'll leave the link below so you can tap it and quickly join the first session. I'm going live tomorrow, Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, every second Thursday of the month. And you get two bonus videos on both of those areas of uh, focuses every month. And if you're a business owner that wants to key key a little bit more with content creators, or you want to use content creation to leverage your business, you might want to tap into this too. You might learn a lot of things about pitching, communication, navigating different conversations, all the things. We're going to get into it. Every month is going to be a different theme that is very important to the growth of you, personal style wise and content creation wise. All right, that's my spiel.
I'll see y'all later, cookies. Thank you for sitting with me. Bye. Thank you.